Brianna Williams, honored. Karika Hill celebrates her birthday. And Dina Asher Smith is at it again. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Well, it is March the 6th, and do you know who was born on March the 6th? The world under 2100 meter hurdles champion, Jamaica's remarkable Karika Hill. So we say, Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! So Karika Hill turns 18 today people the remarkable karika hill and last night they celebrated her birthday a day early i guess but it doesn't matter happy birthday to this remarkable gorgeous remarkable talent hello everybody run fast <laughs> hey no more <laughs> Happy birthday, Queen Karika Hill from the team and myself here at Peter Lloyd World. We know you're going to have a remarkable life and you're going to have many, many more amazing birthdays. And we believe your rookie year is going to be an amazing rookie year. So happy birthday. Have a full day, people. Please leave a happy birthday wish for the great Karika Hill, Queen Karika Hill, in our comment segment. Now, this young lady, the cousin, the great one, the beauty, the British bombshell, bombshell. <laughs> The fastest woman in England's history. Yes, of Jamaican heritage. Her mother is Trini Jamaican and her dad is Jamaican. Dina Asher Smith is at it again, um, taking the fashion world by storm. She posted to her social media. Uh, look, I can't speak French. I can't say that first part. Wrapped up a mega quick impromptu pop to Paris great to decompress and immerse myself in another world for a few days before I go back into tough training you that speaks French please say that first part for me uh, she wrote this was my first Alexander McQueen show and wow what an incredible entry to the world of Sarah Burton stunning intelligent modern elegant done so well great to see body diversity on the runway and refreshing to see curvy models adorned in color not just in the typical all black look i love this sh and have been thinking about those trousers that go into those sharp heels all the way back to london congratulations to the mcqueen team on an incredibly on credit on an incredibly successful show thank you for having me back to training tomorrow so she wraps up and she gets back to get ready for her outdoor season. Um, here we take a look at some of the pictures of her getting ready to make her uh, what, debut, so to speak, on their stage. Dean Asher Smith is a true British bombshell. Gorgeous, intelligent, articulate, and she wears the clothes so well. So kudos and congrats to her. I know she's going to have a great season. Now, this young lady, the remarkable Brianna Williams. Yes, you know, she's another channel favorite here. Williams posted this to her social media recently. She wrote, this was such a great surprise. I got an award from Dwayne Richards of Yardy Sports at the corporate area meet yesterday. I'll put this next to my medals because while it's good to excel, it's also important to be kind. And we know how sweet and kind Brianna Williams is. One of my personal favorites, such a remarkable young lady. Beauty, grace, considerate, kind, giving. And here's a look at the award given to her. Now, Brianna Williams was in repping, of course, for Grace Foods, one of her title sponsors. This year's 
Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Champs is March 28th to March to April 1st. I was happy to present Kingston College, Fortis, Excelsior High, and Calabar with Grace Mighty Malt yesterday on behalf of Grace Foods. See you at Champs 2023. And here she is um, giving out the Grace Mighty Malt to these track athletes herself and of course the Grace team. You know, I I know I know some of you said this has nothing to do with um, you know, this is our, of course giving out awards at the corporate area. Champs. Fortis Fortis <laughs> Yes, I'm a little prejudiced people, I'm a little biased. But um the truth is I will forever feature our athletes giving back to their community. Brianna Williams at such a young age really embodies what I think people should do with celebrity. And our athletes at this level are definitely celebrities. Um, and I just I just enjoy sharing these with you. And here she's having I mean I mean, I love that. So anyway, um, <laughs> you know, so uh, it's one of the reasons reasons why we consistently feature any of our athletes giving back to the community and the community in turn giving back to her so it was really wonderful for Yardis sports to present her with that um, plaque she's deserving of it this young lady really gives and gives and gives and she shows tremendous love for jamaica jamaicans and her community in general then of course she was also a part of the titans team who welcomed the olympic committee's president thomas back to jamaica here she is with other members of the titans and well other sorry other olympians not the titans now we of course think that um, brianna williams who started her career at that 60 meter uh running 7.22 uh with a plus 1.1 win behind her we think she's going to have a very very good season it's going to be very very interesting and i don't want to stir the ant's nest but i'm going to say it again i said it last year and many of you cost me and say the comparison was preposterous and i kept telling you no we're going to have to see this we're going to see tina clayton and brianna williams lined up against each other in a race it's going to happen people and um you know it, it, they're both pros they are both going to have to compete against each other this is as is this is inevitable if you go back you'll see that last year i i wrote i, I wrote about when well, we did a video on this and many of us me off and say what kind of nonsense and and i mean look tina clayton is a beast and brianna williams is a beast so i would love to see what's going to happen and i think that may have been one of the reasons why she was pulled from the recent gibson the recent gibson relays but of course i'm just speculating and some of you know like when i speculate but that's a part of part of what we do here you know but i think she, brianna williams she looks as if she's going to have a great season to me uh, i believe she will be injury free this this season in fact look i think the outdoor season regarding athletics in general this year is going to be absolute fire if you thought last year was remarkable this year i think it's going to be even better locally and globally the, the, the athletes are rounding into great form and they're all looking good so i am looking forward to great things from brianna williams so congratulations brianna you deserve that plaque you've been giving back and giving back and you're an inspiration to many now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button remember you are royals you're kings and queens bless up